Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, bit of a departure for me this one, um, in that this video I'm reaching out to you, my subscribers, and my non-subscribing viewers for some um, advice, some ideas, um, some, some counsel, um, and some help really. Uh, but before we go any further, uh, the beverage today it's a very sober moment for me, so it's a sober drink. Uh, it's my uh, my Guatemalan single estate uh, home roasted coffee, drinking black in the uh, in the good old mug. So, cheers. Mm. Right in the background, I don't know if you can notice a bit of nostalgia. That was my first ever YouTube video that I posted back in the very late October, early November last year, and it's the first full 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 battery flight. Full battery pack run on my original vision. Still here, bless it. Slightly more pimped than it was. Um, and um, the reason I'm playing that is because uh, my channel is about that far, a couple of weeks away from hitting 3,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who subscribed. It's just, it's just blown me away, really, that we started from that. And we're now here at 3,000 subscribers. And within another month or so, we're going to go push through half a million um, views on the videos, which is, uh, yeah, I still, my mind is boggled. So as a massive thank you to you guys. Um, uh, it's, it's, I've had a fantastic fun doing it. It's been a brilliant learning experience and, and, and I'm glad that at least some of you have found at least some of what I've said to be useful, um, uh, helpful, or uh, amusing, not necessarily in that order. Um, so there we go. So that was the first thing that I wanted to say. Now, the whole part of this video is that because I'm, I'm hitting 3,000 subscribers, half a million views, and, and I'm feeling that things are at a, at a crossroads. There's a couple of reasons for that. Let me, let me tell them to you now quickly. Number one, um, you know the dodgy lighting that people complain about and the iffy camera and the kind of lack of editing. And, I just feel that, you know, uh, my subscribers maybe deserve a little bit more in the way of quality. Without compromise, I don't want to go all studio and whizzy graphics and green screen and all of that nonsense because it compromises the whole kitchen table ethos. But I am conscious that it's, you know, I I'm, I'm need to maybe up the game on, on uh, how these videos look. And obviously I need to sort of, I would need to buy some proper lighting and a camera and if I want to edit the videos down a bit more I need to get a laptop that isn't four years old and powered by coal which my current one is which is why I don't do much editing guys because it's such a pain um, so that's kind of that would have been ongoing anyway but I, I've reached a crossroads because recently I was approached by well twice actually um, by two different uh, organizations looking to sponsor the channel which I kind of fell off my chair when I kind of read the emails and was incredibly flattered and you know kind of my eyes went slightly glazy and and that would have been brilliant because that would have turned uh, given me a small but not insignificant amount of regular kind of money and it would have meant that I could easily have quickly got some better equipment um, on stream quite quickly um, and would have had a kind of a stream of things to look at and test and fly and stuff. We're not talking, you know, <laughs> a 3,000 subscriber channel. We're not talking, you know, big stuff. But it would have been at least enough for me to sort of say, right, okay, you know, we, we, can, we can push on a bit. But, you know, I thought about it. I've thought about it long and hard and I've turned them down because I just felt really, really uncomfortable. In the cold light of day, thinking about this, I felt really uncomfortable about a sponsorship arrangement. Somebody else's logo at the front of every video this sort of implicit endorsement on my part, the fact that as I got more reliant on that sponsorship, would I start to feel less and less inclined to say, you know, neutral, th it just, it just didn't feel right guys. But it also got me to thinking that, well, where do we go next? Because at the moment I do monetize my videos, as you're probably aware, um, there are ads running on all my videos. And so, you know, I haven't received any complaints about that, and I think that's because the YouTube system is quite good. They're, they're normally small banners, you can click them away, you can normally skip through the pre-roll ads if you want to, if it's not of interest. 
And if it is of interest, you click it and it leads you somewhere interesting, then you know, I get a small cut of that, you've found something of interest, everyone's happy. But you know, that that's not going to help things going forwards because that, um, well, put it this way, for what I earn a day out of the YouTube videos, I could take one of you to the pub and buy you a pint. I wouldn't be able to buy you a second one, so you'd have to make it last all evening, okay? Um, I might be able to stretch to a packet of crisps with it, but it depends if it was a good day or not. That's what we're talking about. The other thing that is, is at a crossroads is that we're approaching, we're sort of halfway through the school long summer holidays, and my youngest, Rosie, will be starting school full time in September 2015. That's a year from now. And at that point, you know, I need to, because it's always, it's always part of the family plan, I need to then go back into the world of work and, and bring some income into the family again. Now, I've been thinking about whether what I want to do is make a go of the, this channel being that vehicle. But I don't want to do it in a way that I'm handing over control or you know, feel tied into editorial things to, to, to organisations and third parties. So what I'm toying with the idea of, and this is where I want your input, there is a website out there that I found called patreon.com or patreon.com. Links down there. Put a, I'll put a title up there. Um, and this basically allows people who want to support me and the channel in what we do become a patron by paying a relatively small amount per month to support. Now, you're not, it's not a paywall, it's not a subscription. All my videos will always be free. This is not what it's all about. Everything goes on YouTube, everyone, open to everyone, access to everyone. What this is about is people who kind of have a belief in what I'm doing and the way I do it, who want to support via becoming a patron. So kind of like in the old days where you get, you know, somebody in the landed gentry would find a craftsperson who they really admired but wanted them rather than spending all their time knocking out, you know, gate posts because that's what paid the bills, would give them uh, a sum of money to enable them to have a basic living while they then did the fancy stuff that wouldn't pay the bills because it would take ages and ages to put. That's the kind of basis. It's kind of like a perpetual Kickstarter with small amounts going in that you can stop and start. I've not looked into any more detail than that other than, you know, it would start out at something like £2 a month and then there'd be other options. And also as a benefit to that, you would get access to an exclusive Patreon stream, which means that you can interact more sort of intimately with me and you get priority over questions and bits and pieces like that. And you might also get access to things like webcasts and I might do, you know, hangouts and Skype conference calls with, with people who are patrons and we can discuss what we want to review next and where we're going and news and it's that kind of thing that would be that would be there. I don't know guys. Um let me know what you think. If you if I get masses of feedback saying that's a rubbish idea, don't do it, then that's it. We're not gonna hear that again and then I've still got my year to sort of work out where we're going and and, and, and how we can how we can keep things going you know better than we are now or at least the same. Um, if there's a massive sort of positive response to it, then maybe I will look into putting the wheels in motion and starting a sort of Patreon campaign and looking at levels of, of, of patronage and, and maybe launch it in the not too distant future so we have a bit of momentum going forwards. And if it's a mixed kind of bag of comments from you then maybe I look at look into it in a bit more detail and kind of put some flesh on the bones for you and then we do another one of these when I've had the feedback. I don't know. It's just an idea that I've had that, that, that would enable me, I'd feel a lot more comfortable knowing that you got, I, I was having a, uh, an amount of income, in inverted commas, that was, that was not given with any expectation of, uh, of positive treatment or you know, do, do you know, hopefully you get where I'm coming from. It, the, the whole kitchen table ethos I want to maintain completely. And that includes being a little bit, you know, finding little independent things and off the wall. You know, I, I wouldn't ever have sort of been able to go and find UAVstickers.com, which is one of the first things that I found and really raved about and reviewed if I had sort of, you know, a, a sponsor behind me because that wasn't what they sold. So 
That's where I'm looking at coming from. Can you let me know what you think? I genuinely, uh, good, bad, indifferent, as long as you're polite to all the comments on ever. As you know, I don't censor my comments unless there's something very offensive in there. We did have some nasty homophobia a few weeks ago, but it's ridiculous. Uh, but other than that, can you let me know? Um, look, thanks very much for watching, um, and I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Cheers.